Are you guys excited about going to NASA today? Yeah. We're going to go see some astronauts. So it's day three of the cruise and today we are headed off to NASA. Here we come. Ready? Yeah. Cheers. Royal Caribbean's arrival in Port Canaveral was set for 12 p.m. with departure at 9 p.m. So we grabbed breakfast in the Windjammer Buffet lunch at Cafe 270, then spend the morning checking out the interactive art aboard the ship. This art piece adds your heartbeat to the lights when you place your hands on the podium. After getting the all clear, the girls and I hopped onto an Uber on our way to Kennedy Space Center. The trip was estimated to be around a 20 minute drive and cost around $35 with tip. Our driver, Dave, was a veteran, and if you're watching, thank you again for your service. You can see rocket ships towering in the skyline as you pull up to the entrance. The gates opened at 8.30 and there was spacious parking everywhere. We grabbed our first pick near the iconic NASA logo. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and TikTok to see extras from our trip. I ordered our tickets online so we could skip the purchase kiosk, and at the time of recording, adults were $57 and kids were $47. Yeah. After stopping at the fountain, the girls were ready to look into space. So we're at NASA Kennedy Space Center. What do you think so far, Yomi? Good. Is your Barbie having a good time too? Yeah. <laughs> Barbie Careers introduced astronaut Barbie and what better companion for the girls' trip to space, right? No, this is not sponsored, but Mattel, feel free to reach out. Florida decided to turn their heat on heck, so the twins and I decided we needed to cool down at the Milky Way ice cream shop. Done. Done. Kenzie, are you done too? Yeah. Come on. Can you touch the earth? What do you want the moon? Kenzie, touch the moon. What do you want the moon? Which one's the Earth? This one. Great job. Which one's Mars? This one. I'm pretty sure it is. That sounds right. <laughs> All right, girls, let's go check out the shop. I'm done. The shop offers cold drinks, snacks, and of course, ice cream. The girls pick the space dots in rainbow ice. We got one cup to share for $5.99 plus tax. It tastes mm. melted. What is in your mouth? And of course, not even two seconds later, an accident happened. And the server at the shop was kind enough to replace it since we had just walked out. So this time we decided to grab a nice safe table to eat our ice cream. Then, we heard a shuttle taking off right beside us. Smoke was billowing in the air and the coolest billboard I've ever seen was announcing what was going on. We happened to be lucky enough to catch a simulated takeoff just at the right time. After eating and cooling off, we headed into the first attraction, Nature and Technology, which was themed as kind of before space era. It featured old weapons, clothing, and toys, and deeper inside was an animal exhibit about Merritt Island's ecosystem. Kenzie and Kiyomi were excited to see all the cute animals, and were especially excited to see the renowned bald eagle, whose nest actually resides somewhere on the property. First, the property. 
feel like crocodile. Ooh. Do you see all those? Huh? Look at that big eagle. That's a Can you see there? <laughs> so cute. That is so cute. Okay, come on. One, two, three. Wow, so cute. Look at that. We headed back out and over to the Mars rover named Marvin, M-R-V-N. I called dibs on this for my zombie apocalypse car, but unfortunately we couldn't actually get in or get too close, but it was an amazing sight to see. Marvin has a mobile lab, massive wheels, that is designed to travel over dunes, rocks, and craters. And on Mars, it will move with a speed of 30 meters per hour. And the wheels are actually bigger than the girl standing up straight. These beautifully colored towels you'll see on the ground actually power the billboard I showed earlier and make the smoke and the sounds come out. So as you walk on it, they'll fill up that meter and when that meter reaches 100, it'll go off. So make sure you step on them to add your energy to the billboard. We noticed the big sign on the building that said the astronaut training experience, which seemed like fun, so we decided to check it out. Reservations were required for this program, and we were unsure why, so we decided to go inside and check out more about it. Register for it's like a ride? No, it's a five hour training program. Oh. And they do have to be 10 and older to participate. Gotcha. Um, they do the whole landing and working on Mars. Okay, so maybe in five years. Want some cards? Say yes, please. Say thank you. That's the rocket that's going back to the moon. <gasps> wow, look at you guys. Did you say thank you? Thank you. They said thank you, Miss Joanne. You're welcome. All right, girls. Come on. You guys got to wait till you're a little bit bigger so you can learn how to be astronauts, okay? Thank you. Mommy, you are a little bit bigger. I am, but we don't have five hours. Come on, let's go. Yeah. So that's a five hour training for kids who want to learn how to be astronauts. Pretty cool. Next, we headed towards the world's largest space shop at 15,000 square feet, I'm wondering who else would even try to compete with NASA for the title. They of course had everything you would expect from new SpaceX t-shirts to umbrellas and ponchos if it rained and toys as well as branded mugs and glasses. T-shirts, jackets, and keychains, oh my, you'll find everything that you could want in this store. We searched around because Kenzie especially wanted to find a doll that she wanted. She wanted the new turning red stuffed panda. I did let her know that I don't believe NASA is quite there yet, but we looked anyway. She's <laughs> wearing a pink face out there. Mom, this one's orange. That one's orange, wearing orange outfit, right? Those are cute. Look at that one. Oh, that one's orange. Oh, that's cute. For anyone with accessibility needs, they do have an elevator, which we grabbed up to the second floor to check out and see what they had upstairs. This is where we found even more toys, including costumes for dress up as astronauts, puzzles, games, and Lego pieces.
Kenzie and Kiyomi headed off to the planet Stuffies right before seeing the astronaut costumes. If you do make it upstairs, make sure you walk across the original Apollo 11 gantry, which goes across the store and gets you from the toys to the space PJs. The girls were confused about some of the toys and asked me who they were and I definitely felt my age because there was Space Snoopy and Woodstock and the girls had no idea who they could be. We passed the elevator again before being ready to head back down, but Kiyomi saw and wanted to try the dollar penny machine. So if you've never done this before, the machine supplies a penny, you pay a dollar, which was the cost for this one, and then you choose the design you want and then you turn the crank until the penny falls out at the slot below. The machine did say that this would be $1. Unfortunately, it did charge me $4 for this penny keepsake, um, but Kiyomi worked really hard for this so she was happy to have it. Before heading out, I saw this really cute teddy bear NASA keychain that I decided I'd like to get. Unfortunately, the potty monster called and both of the twins had to go to the bathroom immediately. The line was long, so I put it back and decided to go ahead and leave it for today. The girls were beginning to get a little hot and tired, but I am so glad we kept going because we almost missed the best part, the Space Shuttle Atlantis. Do not miss this attraction if you go. We walked in through this huge marvel and I didn't know what to expect. There was a long line and I wasn't allowed to record inside, but it was so inspirational. It was a great setup for it. Yes. Girls, this space shuttle has been in space. Mm. Curtain opened up to the space shuttle Atlantis, which has had 32 missions to space. In this area, they had interactive play places where you could touch screens and learn more about interspatial flight.
the girls were over near the Hubble telescope pretending that their Barbies were in space. While they were playing, Kenzie also decided to make her Barbie into the space shuttle Atlantis. So Mattel, please make a Barbie space shuttle Atlantis. You can feel free to send us two to review because these little astronauts were definitely ready for takeoff. And if you know me, you know I had to catch a few more pictures near the rocket boosters at the end. This internal spaceship representation was a place where no shoes were allowed and the kids were able to climb up inside and see a mock spaceship where they were able to get a clear view of the terrain. And I swear they did this like four times. We walked downstairs to admire the Space Shuttle Atlantis from below, and then Kenzie and Kiyomi noticed that we'd missed a large slide. When you come in, you watch a short inspirational video on how the Space Shuttle Atlantis was made, and they described the plates they used to keep it from burning back up in re-entry. And it's amazing the marvel that mankind made. Then back up we went to check out the Sonic Boom slide. <laughs> and grown-ups can go too. All right. Oh. <laughs> I know, that's the worst part. By this point, the girls had caught their second wind and I saw a sign that said Planet Play, so we decided to go inside and do a little investigation. This is actually a play area that's included with the cost of admission for kids 2 through 12. So if you have a little one, make sure you stop by. It's your turn. Inside Planet Play, there were even more slides, climbing structures, interactive games like this one where they were able to make constellations using their feet on the floor. This was another place where no shoes were allowed, so you might want to bring some socks for the little ones. Kenzie and Kiyomi even took a quick trip over to Mars before noticing that there was an astronaut signing autographs. The girls were starting to get tired again, so we knew we needed to go ahead and hit that Uber so that we can get back to the ship with time to get ready for our dinner reservations at Izumi. So we headed back to the ship to catch a quick nap and get cleaned up for dinner. If you like this video, consider subscribing to help us hit 2000 in 2022. Tap that bell to get notified and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.
share. Ex-wife.